I hope you're ready to warm up on this chilly day with a little comfort food. GoProvidence.com has brought us Chef Jessica Wood from U-Melts, and we have soup and grilled cheese on the menu. We have Santa here, so it's winter is upon us. Yes. So it's time for comfort food. Today we are making a triple cheese grilled cheese with Ooh. Havarti, Swiss, and honey spun goat cheese. And we whip the honey right into the goat cheese to make it fluffy. And we put Yum. that right in the center and it oozes out when it's warm. It's always nice whenever you're making a grilled cheese to combine multiple cheeses, right? I think so, yeah. It gives it a different depth. It also has different melt temps on everything. So huh. it will make it melty a little bit longer. Yeah, that makes ooey gooey, sense. nice yeah. and cheesy. Exactly. And we're making, um, I know a lot of people might have like broccoli and cheddar soup. This is cauliflower This is cheddar. cauliflower cheddar. It's a milder flavor. Okay. And we, instead of onions, we use leeks. Um, mm. We don't use too much of the green part, just the white part, um, which gives it also a milder flavor. And we add lots of butter to that and lots of cheddar and more butter. And more butter yeah. because it's comfort food <laughs> exactly. and it's gonna taste delicious. Now, exactly. these two do they do they pair well together? Is this a sandwich that we're gonna dunk in that soup? They do. Every time that we're making soup, all of our soups are made in house. Mm -hmm. um, we try to think about: Do you want to dip cheese <laughs> into the soup? So we try to keep it as mild and cheesy and delicious as we can. Mm -hmm. Both equally delicious though, but when you combine them together, we talk about a great bite. Uh, a lot of other soups and grilled cheeses on the menu around We this do. Time too. We have, we just um, featured our Thanksgiving, which had everything that you have in Thanksgiving on between two pieces of bread. Yum. We also have our famous white trash, which is <laughs> uh, macaroni and cheese, pork, barbecue sauce between two slices of bread. Yum. It and is, plenty others. I don't want to have you give yes. too many away Way right now because we're going to talk about more as the morning rolls on and we're going to get this started in just a bit. Be perfect to make on a cold day today. We got cauliflower cheddar soup, triple grilled cheese. What's better than that? You melt is here. Chef Jessica's going to put this all together for us. The butter's already the uh, butter sizzling, sizzling, sizzling away. You're going to add your leeks right, that so I have already cleaned and chopped so no one loses a finger here on live TV. <laughs> that's, that's, pl that's a plus. <laughs> So Don't dump those in. Yep, yeah. and then you're going to add some of that cauliflower right there. Do you want to put the whole thing in? The whole thing. All of them in, okay. You can also, if you want to add any, you can add a parsnip to this soup. Mm -hmm. You can add some celery to this soup, which will give it a little bit more depth, but for today we're keeping it really simple. So what you want to do is just stir that around, add a little salt and a little pepper. Okay. All simmering in the butter. You want to get this going for about 10 minutes till everything gets a little soft mm -hmm. and a little translucent. And how long will it take, obviously, for the cauliflower? Because cauliflower can be a little tough sometimes. It can be. Yeah. So, um, so once you get this simmering for a little while and you get everything with a little sear on it, which, like I said, will take about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. what you want to add next, it would be your chicken stock. Okay. Pour some right of this in. in there. This really is, it, it's its something simple to make. Obviously, the it ingredients people you, that you brought in today probably have already in the house. So if you're looking for something to throw together, this is a great way to do it. Soup is a really simple, a simple dish that you, and this is also a great holiday dish. Yeah. You can have it in the beginning of um, a holiday meal, or you can put it in small soup shooters mm -hmm. and serve it at a Christmas party. And you can top it with hazelnuts or fresh parsley or fresh peanuts. And then that will make one thing that you can make ahead, and then you just heat and serve, and you have one thing off your list. On a cold night, uh, any night, even over the weekend where it's cold, yeah. you sit down, you have a bowl of soup, you're good to go. Yeah, with a great piece of bread. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you want to have that simmer mm -hmm. for about 50 minutes. Okay. Um, and you really want to make sure, the key to the soup is that you really want to make sure that your cauliflower is really soft and your leeks are really soft, because when you put it through the immersion blender, or if you want, you can blend it at home in your blender or food processor, you want to make sure that everything is really soft so that your soup isn't lumpy and has unfinished pieces of cauliflower. Right, you really, really want to be able to break it down yeah. and give it that like smooth consistency in mm -hmm. it too. Okay, all right, yes, so we'll definitely. put this together. We will talk about U-Melt. We'll also make a great grilled cheese with U-Melt in just a little bit. Back to you. Thanks to GoProvidence.com, Chef Jessica Woods here from You Melt. She is cooking up a storm cauliflower cheddar soup with triple grilled cheese is what she is making. And man, oh man, it looks so, so good. So can we just go back and just tell everybody what yes. we did? I know you put the cauliflower in here. You had the yes. leeks in here. What else did you put in? Oh, well, through the magic of television, mm -hmm. we cooked down the leeks and the cauliflower 
and some salt and pepper and butter in chicken stock. We got it nice and soft and then we blended it with an immersion blender. And then now at this point, what we're gonna do is add a little, we have our grilled cheese going too, which and Can has, I say that grilled cheese is cooked perfectly. Well, thank you. I was a little worried I was gonna burn it online. No, no, today, it's good. It's really <laughs> so good. So we have um, some, some Harvardi Swiss and um, goat cheese going in here, which we're gonna just flip over. And mm -hmm. then what you're gonna add to this soup to make it really creamy and delicious is a little bit of that cheddar cheese. Throw a little of that in there. All right. Put some of this in here. Yep, and we're gonna melt that right in. There you go, the more Good. cheese the better. I agree. And then what else we're gonna throw in that is a little bit of that cream, mm -hmm. maybe just a couple drops. Of that and this also is going, is, is going to thicken it up as well. Yep, right? it's going to add. There you go. That's great. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And that is going to add that depth and comfort to it. That looks so good. There you go. That looks great. So we have this soup on our menu yep. at Umel Way Bossett. So Way Bossett Street in Providence is yep. where you guys are located. People we are looking are. for comfort food. This is comfort food. They are. And if you, yeah, another great thing about us is that we're right down the street from the Pea Pack. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to a show with your kids or you are going to just catch a show with a date, mm -hmm. you can come down and grab a grilled cheese before you head over to the Pea Pack for a show. Also, we're right across from Jebu, so we have great comfort food for those that are missing home. Right, yeah. And um, the other things we have is mac and cheese, tomato bisque soup. This cauliflower cheddar seems to be a really popular one right now. We it have looks French so onion. good. We have French onion that's usually on the menu and uh, Italian wedding, all sorts of yummy. So you got a lot of right good now. stuff. We do a lot of good stuff. Now I noticed you you keep stirring this too. Is this I also am. to thicken this up? Make sure it doesn't. I'm just trying to melt the cheese and the cream into it mm -hmm. and make it really a silky soup. Like I said, you can add parsnips to it, you can add celery to it, you can add some of that colorful cauliflower that you find at some of the grocery stores this time of year. Right. That will add color to it if you are serving it at a holiday party mm -hmm. or anything like that. Sounds good. Okay, and while, while yeah. this is going, you also have the grilled cheese. I do have the grilled cheese Now, I going. know you make a grilled cheese at home. It's, it, it's, it's all about the bread that you're putting together because you it want is. something that's really going to hold together, really going to hold the flavor in this, it as well. This is a sourdough bread. Um, we also have our, we also have a lot of other kinds of bread that we really, really, we really pride ourselves on fresh mm -hmm. bread, which does, it holds it together. You do not want to make a grilled cheese on flimsy bread. Right, right. And tell everybody again what uh, what you have inside I there too. I put Swiss in here, Havarti, and a honey goat cheese. The honey goat cheese is right in the side and that, inside, and that will ooze out as we cut it. And Notice you're cutting this on an angle. There's I a lot of controversy. Am. Do we cut there straight is. or do you cut on an angle? Ours are cut on an angle. Cut on an angle. No, that would not oh be Oh my God. Cheese. Look at how good that and looks. And then you have all <laughs> the goat cheese melting Holy out. moly. Wow. There you go. And this is also a great holiday party. You can cut them into smaller triangles. Sure. Also cut on an angle. And serve like little hors d'oeuvres or yeah. something too. Yeah, serve them as an hors d'oeuvres or on top of your soup. I love that. Yeah. I love that. All right, so that will sit there for a little bit. Yeah, Okay, stay this warm. is probably done. That is done. Yep, we're going to turn that off so nobody gets burned. Okay. And we're going to ladle that right into one of those cups. Put this now, in Now, there's all sorts of things you can top soup with. You can top it with some fried onions. Mm -hmm. You can top it with fresh herbs. Actually, these are the last of the herbs that are coming out of our garden. That parsley right there, right Could before I have some the freeze. Soup, please? Yes. <laughs> right. And then right. we're going to top that with a little bit of parsley and a little bit of fresh pepper. Can I put a little but when you're at home, in there? you can top soup with whatever you have: hazelnuts, fresh peanuts, pepper. So Tell everybody you again go. where were you located? We are located at Going Way Bossett Street. Okay. And we are making fresh soup and fresh sandwiches. Oh my god, that looks day. good. Oof. This is let me tell you, this is like a perfect comfort food to have on a day like this, or actually any day. And if you want the recipe or any other information about UMelt, you can head to our website, roadshow.com.